I'm walking and I saw by a tree this little blue ball. I was like, what is that? Is that a tropical bird? He just started hopping over to me. I was like, no way. And he just hopped into my arms. Oh my God, hi. Are you lost? I used to be really, really scared of birds. And it was funny because when I first picked him up, he did not want to leave my side. I thought I was dreaming. So I get in the house and I was like, oh my God, I just made the biggest mistake. I have this bird in my house. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. I got the cage and had purchased the food. And I gave him some alone time to recoup. He was a little standoffish at first. And then he would just fly to me because he was cold and scared. I thought that was really sweet. Oh, hello. Hi. So sleepy. You're so sleepy. You must be exhausted. I wasn't thinking I was going to keep him. I thought maybe he was someone else's. And then I realized someone let him go. He didn't have a bed band. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep this bird. He's amazing and so sweet. Over time, he's gotten really used to me. I work from home and I just let him sit with me. Maybe he will help me work on a project. He's definitely become more social and loving, which has been great to see that evolution. The sweetest thing that I love that he does, he likes to bob his head. This was definitely a tough year, especially in terms of going through job changes and personal changes. I'm very caring and loving and having something to pour that into feels really good. He gets a lot of socialization and he seems really happy. Never before did I think I would be so into birds and bird care. I really look forward to coming home now and being home and having a little companion.